All right, we're going to unbox a new polisher that we bought, and it's uh, it's from Dewalt, and it's a, a rotary. It's a, it's a DWP eight four nine X. It's a rotary car polisher, but okay, we're going to use it for upholstery and stairs things. and things like that. So. The reason we got this, because we have the Harbor Freight Polishers, is that this is much better than the Harbor Freight Polishers. It's it's got it's just it's got more power and everything else. Let's see what's in there. The manual, which we actually read our manuals. A lot of people joke about tossing theirs out, but that's not smart. The, what's that, the D-handle? Yeah, like a D-handle. Okay, this is a big boy. Here is the polisher itself. Now this thing, it it's goes got, it goes from 300, or, or 300 up to, uh, can you see that? Um, that's 600. 600, that's the low speed. Wait a what, there, there's bigger, there's a, okay, 600 up to uh, whatever this is. I, I don't have 3,500. Okay, so it's really fast. Okay. Uh, so I'll, let me sit this down over here for a second. It'll be back in the picture soon. It comes with a handle you can use. I would probably use this. The D handle better. You could use either one. That's your preference. Here's some, uh, Tools of some sort. Probably don't need those, but <laughs> and then here is probably your biggest feature of this. The vacuum plate. The vacuum plate. Yeah, if you're a carpet cleaner, you call this a pad driver. This is uh technically it's a nine inch vacuum plate pad driver. Uh if that's all that comes in the box, it's not a lot to it, but yeah. uh so this is a big this is kind of a big heavy polisher for most people but we we're, we're going to use it for like when we do stairs well couches and uh yeah and things like that furniture but you could do countertops and things like that with it and this is rotary not orbital it's yeah it's uh it's so. different well this this to be honest with you is one of the most sought after uh polishers like in the automotive world for polishing cars it it, it takes an expert to use them because since it's rotary you can swirl a paint job real quick. Orbital, yeah, you can burn through. Orbital is good for amateur polishers, but uh, professional polishers, they like rotor because it's real fast. Because it's super, this is, how many amps is this? I can't remember. It's, it's real Check powerful. Check the video description. I'll put a link uh, on Amazon. You get all the details on, you know, like how long is the cord and all that junk all pan. Oh, don't let's know. see the cord real quick. We can show that. It's a big old... Monster. Uh, we've got the Harbor Freight Polishers, and believe me, this is far bigger. Watch out, that's wanting to slide off. I'm, I'm watching it. If it slides off, I'll, I'll, I'll grab it by the cord and save it. <laughs> That'd be great. If I can get this. Man, I hate bread ties. They ought to be illegal. I'm not sure if I'm tightening it or loosening it. I'm about to cut it or something. How in the world did they do this? Why in the world did they do this? Okay, I think I'm getting it off now. I don't know if you can actually see any of this because this camera doesn't like zoom. It likes to try to zoom funny. So, so I don't know how long the cord is, but it's uh. And we have extension cords, of course, too. So is oh, that a yeah. three prong plug? It's no, it's it's two prong. Ironically, okay, so I guess a, you don't need three. It's double insulated then. Yeah, but it's a uh, hold the things that don't move. Well, hold on. It's a uh, well, it's this far. It's a uh, it's a good, I say, a, a ten foot cord. I have no idea, but don't right, say let it's me the way see. I don't know if you can read any of this. Let me flip to the other side. Let's go see if there's a radiant plate. There's, there's this thing right here. Yeah. But that's probably just a shock warning or something. Yeah, let me... Well, you can see. Let me set that down on one end. I don't know if you can even see that. Or if you want to see that. 
move it in slow. That way you can kind of see how many amps. Even with my reading glasses, I have trouble seeing. Isn't it like 8 amps or something? Or well, I think it says 12 amps. It's 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 a heavy duty. Well, polisher. I work orbiter is 5.4 amps, so that's 12. So it's pretty powerful. Now this anyway. Is a it has a button where you can lock in your trigger. Yeah, and it's a variable speed. By the time we put one well, of Well, we like uh, also the idea of having a speed selector switch because you can set your maximum speed and then it's yeah, not going to... Yeah, you can get your trigger set. That way you and can... And then uh, while you're working, you can move your speed up if you feel like you're well, going slow or too slow or whatever. But a lot of times what happens is you get these things going too fast and you don't really want to do that with uh, you know, certain things well, you're Well, see, cleaning. the thing about over polishers... The way they like is first off, they're little six inch polishers, so you can only use bonnets like this big, which yeah. is just real slow. And then the orbit, if you turn it up fast enough to make the orbit work, it makes you feel like you're getting carpal tunnel. I never liked that. This hair probably won't vibrate because it's rotary. Put that there was just here. a lot of drawbacks to we'll the orbit polishers. The, we didn't like. We'll have to install the uh, handle and everything on it. And but we'll, make we'll an, try it out. We'll make we'll, another video using it, and we'll, yeah, show we'll show you more about it later on, but that's We're, just an initial unbox and then we'll uh we'll show you more later check the video description for more info hope you guys enjoyed that until next time thanks for watching